Now I'm going to cover the final curriculum toolbar within RME to teach. So far we've looked at English language arts, math, social studies and finally science. There are other tools within Easy Teach that come with the basic version, database and spreadsheet, meaning you can achieve that functionality from within one program so you don't have to swap between applications and keep minimizing them and finding which program you want to use on your taskbar so it makes the classroom management of the software really quite easy. So I've got a bunch of images out here on my page that I was able to access through my multimedia bank and I need to select one more. So I'm going to go to science and plants and I'm going to bring out a small plant and I can dictate that it's small even from dragging and dropping it out. Of course I've showed you how it can be resized once it's on the page but if I can do something before the event then I'm big in favour of that. So I'm going to choose the small plant by selecting my small button. We have a medium button and a large button. And I can drag and drop my plant out there onto the page. Now, if the scientists out there haven't guessed already, we're doing a lesson on energy flow through an ecosystem. And in order to help me, I'm going to go and select my science toolbar from my toolbars menu at the bottom of the page. A floating toolbar that allows me to minimize my easy teach toolbar and pop it in the corner up there because I'm just going to focus on using this tool for now. So to indicate energy flow through an ecosystem I'm going to use my magnetic line toolbar. So clicking on my magnetic line toolbar I'm going to show how energy flows from the sun to the plants, from the plants to the herbivores and from the herbivores to the carnivores. And it could be that we have more herbivores and so forth. And I can connect as many different animals, plants, elements, whatever it might be. It could be a food cycle or a food chain that we're doing. But the important thing is when I click on my hand, which is my user mode, which I can easily access from my skin as well as from my toolbar, wherever I position or choose to move that particular item, doesn't have to be an image, it can be text. It retains those links, thus showing the students the relationships that exist between those items. If I want to break the bonds, maybe I'm teaching physics and looking at atoms, I can break those bonds and the magnetic line bond will thus be broken and the image can move freely.